QR codes are used just about everywhere nowadays. We use them to access like restaurant menus and uh, business information, downloading applications. But did you guys know that Edge and Google Chrome now has a way to share and save your favorite websites as a QR code? So today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use that tool as well, so stick around. So quick Google search actually shows that this feature came out in uh, February of this year, so 21, and uh, I just discovered it. So hopefully you guys are just discovering it and will use it like I will. So the first thing that you're gonna want to do is either open up Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome. This works in both of those browsers. I have not tried any other browser, but it does work with those. The next thing is, is you will want to be signed in with an account on either Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. Otherwise, the QR code feature does not work. So. If we open up a website, let's just go on over to, well, we'll just say like Sea of Thieves. They just dropped a cool new update. Maybe you're wanting to share that update with somebody, so we'll click on it. And there's a couple ways that you can do this. The first one is if you come up to the URL bar on the right-hand side and just click within it, you get a little square with some smaller squares. If you hover over it, it says create QR code for this page. The other option is to right click anywhere that is not a media, like a photo, a, a video, or anything like that on a website to bring up the other option. So if we come on down to the empty space right where it's just the user interface and right click it, we have the option to also create QR code for this page. Now you can click on it, right click on like an image or a video and it will create a QR code for that image. But if you're wanting to share the actual website, you'll want to cl click on somewhere that is the interface and not a media style uh, section of the website. So again, we're going to right click on it, go to create QR code for this page. And you now can see whether you clicked up here or there, you now have in this case, the Google Chrome uh, dinosaur, if you're on edge, it, it won't have that it'll just be the QR code itself. But in any case, you have the QR code here with the address right below it, you can either scan it or have them scan it from here. You can, if you have this up on a projector, maybe it's for like a, a school project or something along those lines, they can scan it with their phones from there, or you can actually download it and it will download it as a PNG and you can send this in an email, you can send this as an image to somebody and they can scan this QR code and go directly to that website. So that's just a quick and easy way to take a website if you're wanting to share it or save it as a favorite that you can create a QR code on it and make it really easy to access. And that is all there is to it, short and sweet video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. That is all I have for you guys today. I hope you liked it. If you did, be sure to like, share, and of course subscribe. Those three things certainly help us grow our channel. If you wanna support us in other ways, head on over to shop.helpcloud.com or you can pause the video and scan this QR code taking you over to our merch store. We've got a lot of cool things over there from stickers and hoodies and hats, so be sure to check those out. Thanks again for watching. Thank you guys for what you do and your support and we will see you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>